I think I got a number from somewhere. To be honest, I'm at the point I'm at that sort of point when you really don't know what you're supposed to be doing, but you obviously know you're supposed to be doing something. There was an auditorium here. Auditorium. And I was thinking there might be a puzzle here due to how it's like structured. This looks like so much like a puzzle room, it's almost ridiculous. Does the board say anything? Nope, no such luck in anything around here telling me what to do. I shouldn't rely on inanimate objects to guide me, but it's not as it's just too tempting to. And here was when I was attacked by uh, the strangling man. Let's read what this says. There's notes about a seminar. 921 in the auditorium. Crime among the impervious and its prevention. I have been a blasphemy criminal behavior. A psychological approach would be referenced, so be sure to read it before... Oh! I got it. I think I got it. I think I got the answer to this puzzle. It finally came to me. I think maybe I'll just go to the library, and since the library is uh, established by... Uh, I think the library's on this floor. But since the library is established by different subjects, I'm supposed to find the right book. This is the right book here. They say that people despise those who they think similarly to them. Anyway, I read that. That's not what we're looking for. Uh, so it's probably one of these books. Here we go. We found it. Criminal behavior, a psychological approach. That notice in the lecture room mentioned this. I don't understand a word of it. Hmm? There's a slip of paper in here. What's the number 9981 for? Ha uh, ha he! I'll write it down even. 9981. Alright. Alright. So, come on. Uh, there should be an answer. Probably inside, I think almost all the things I need to open are on this floor, so let me go over here, try opening up all these security boxes again. Oh, here we go, this is it, this is it. 9981. It contained the key to the computer room. Alright, progress. Uh, I better save my game so I don't have to fucking do that again. Alright, so now we head over this way, and the computer room I think is just right over here, isn't it? Was this the computer room? No, 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 the computer room was on the floor below, right. So, one down. I wonder if he'd be hiding in the computer room. Is this it? That's the reference room. Is this the computer room? Here we go. Unlock the computer room. There's something shiny there, but of course we're going to look around a little bit. Like, what's this laptop over here? A laptop computer. There's no power. Uh, you just have to recharge it. Okay, what's in the shiny? The trash can is overflowing. Lots of complicated papers. I don't understand any of them. Printed by Andrew Robertson, ID 144246. I'm going to write down the ID because I'm thinking it could be any of these. Wait, wait, yes, yes, it's the ID which I need. Because this ID was the passcode for the door that won't open. Because his name is Andrew. 144246. I'll also write down uh, the 1709 number, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to do anything. All right, I know what this is for. Let uh, it's actually. Oh. Uh, huh? <clears throat> friends, family, or friends, faculty, and staff, I thank you for coming today. We're glad to have a sunny graduation to start off the rest of our lives. The future may be uncertain for some, but the persistence we learned here will make us resolute. A round of applause for my fellow graduates. What? The laptop? But there's no power! But even as valedictorians, there's something I can't help but lament. It's about David Hoover. Huh? But I didn't go to this school. I want to be a pilot. Huh? He was highly skilled, kind to us all, and admired by pupils and teachers alike. We all expected he would be proudly standing with us this morning to graduate. But our hopes were dashed by none other than the man himself. Hiding behind an innocent face, he's been fooling all his pupils and professors. <gasps> Let me ask you all this. Should he be forgiven? Can he escape punishment for betraying his friends and mentors? <gasps> I didn't think so. He should forever be punished for what he has done to grant his selfish dreams. Stop it! Stop! 
You are the lowest of the low. Your dreams will never come true. What are you even good for? Go off and die somewhere, coward. Babaka. <laughs> Well, that's not nice. <laughs> not nice at all. Am I supposed to move or do something? They just keep on laughing and I can't do anything. Stop! <laughs> and Dylan smash. No. I'm, I'm not a coward. You're arguing with a laptop, dude. I... I just... Hello, Thirsty. Huh? I heard a scream! That was you? Jeez, you made me freak! What's the big idea, huh? Did something happen? Forget about it. Sorry for the surprise. It's nothing. Uh, hey, dude, you... You okay? You're super pale. I'm just kind of tired. I came a long way, and I haven't slept. Leave me alone, I can't be bothered to talk. Hmm. I have this. Huh? I already had a little, but it's an energy drink. Drink up. What, seriously? I don't need this. I told you. Leave me be. Drink it! Jeez! You really look like you need food and drink! And I'm being nice, so accept my kindness! Alright. Thanks. But, what's all this from the guy who was calling me a shady punk? Mostly cause you look like crap, dude. Come on, it's not like I'm heartless. I mean, I am trying to be a lawyer. Huh. Besides, maybe it's fate. Tell you what, I won't call you shady anymore. Now cheer up. You could be my client once I'm a lawyer. Huh, that's a quick turnaround. I'm grateful at any rate. Say, have you seen anyone else around? Particularly a man about my age? A, a man? Nope, nobody. He's who you're looking for? Yeah, though I don't really know how he looks. Tell me if you see him, okay? You got it. Doubt anybody be around here, though. Oh, but can I ask you something, too? Professor Andrew, he always helped me out. His room's on the third floor, but it's got a code, so I can't get in. I was thinking the professor might still have some lecture notes for me around or something. What? Yeah, tell me if you get it open, okay? Alright, got it. Actually, I'm about to open it. I'll wander around some more. Then you look like, uh, you look like hell, so don't push yourself. Yeah, well. You be careful, too. If you see any monsters, get away! Not this again. Yeah, yeah, sure. I've got a knife to the. Oh, okay. I've got a knife to defend myself, anyhow. Smell ya! Little punk ass kid walks off and we're all good. Hmm. Maybe he's not as bad as I thought. Got an energy drink. What? Oh, it can be used to refill my hit points. I'll wait to use it though. I'm also gonna save my game for a second. Also, one quick thing, I'm gonna close the game for a second, we're gonna rewatch it in a moment. It's just I need to check something. And this is something which I've been curious about. Why is the music so fucking quiet? Like, the music isn't always quiet, so I guess it's just how the game works, but for some reason the music keeps on being really quiet in most scenes. Okay, we'll go back to the Crooked Man. Back to playing. Yep, right there. A two hour and 30 minute playthrough so far. Okay, now I actually know how to open Andrew's office. Is this it? Parlor. No, Andrew's office is on the next floor, which means that we're gonna have to go and input the code, which luckily I wrote down so I wouldn't forget. You know, we could have just told him we almost had this room open, but apparently we aren't that considerate. Here we go. I have the digits. It is one, 
not three, four, double four, two, four, six. And the shelves are empty. I see what I need to pick up. I was like, what I'm not supposed to pick up first. Trash can's empty. Looks like some sort of diary. Finally done with the finals. I'm glad everyone got their appropriate grades. Of course, there's that lone D. I teach him so much, but he doesn't even get the basics. He's lagging behind everyone else, and yet he's so intent on becoming a lawyer. That nickname D stands for Dreamer. Apparently it was given to him for having such an impossible dream. But if you ask me, it's for the grade he'll always get. I hate how he fawns over me too. I practically have to act nice to him, and he always comes for lessons after school. I wish I'd never let him in my class. I just hope he gives up on his dream soon and finds another path. This is about D. This is it's awful they'd say this about students, though maybe D really is that bad. If D saw this, it'd be a big shock for him. He said he respected his professor and always tried so hard. There, I tore the page out. Wouldn't want D find it and find coming in and finding this. Got a page from Andrew's diary. I'm gonna save my game for the moment because I think I see another choice coming up. Lots of books, lots of books, fire hydrant. Now let's pick up the one thing that we can probably pick up this. Or not. I, okay. Outwards we go. Now uh, we got a page, but besides. Huh? Uh oh. Crooked man, crooked. Bye, crooked man. That monster's still wandering around. Is he looking for me since he couldn't kill me? I'm gonna have to persuade D to leave. It's way too dangerous here. I'll go look for him. Let's follow the monster. Yay! Oh, I was hoping I'd find him. Mm -hmm. Monster's still monstering. D O D. Where would you be? D-O-D, -D, where would you be? Now, <clears throat> D's probably somewhere like in the basement of the infirmary. I'm gonna check the first floor last because usually there's nothing up there. Do you have to be in the infirmary? No. I don't have any other things I can do besides find him, so. Is he back here? There's a sink possibility he could be. He could be in the auditorium. That sounds plausible. Nothing there. The auditorium has had no purpose yet, so... Nope, D's not in here. Are you in the basement, D? He's on the first floor. I'm going to face palm because I was going to check that first like I usually do, but it usually doesn't end up being on the first floor, so I was going to ignore it. And then the one time I decided not to look downstairs, it's only going to be by the right door or something. Oh, the door's unlocked. I have a really bad feeling. The air feels kind of heavy. Just what is it? Stay out. Let's save this. I have a really bad feeling. The air feels kind of heavy. Just what is it? Go straight in, we want to see the horror. D! Hey, D, what's wrong? Get up! My head feels like crap. Now that you mention it, it's... A little hard to breathe. What's going on here? It's... It's... Yes? Huh? The floor is leaking gas. You gotta get out. Got it! D, get up and lean on my shoulder. Look! It, it's here. Grr, not gonna let us go. C crap! The gas is pouring in. I'll be poisoned if I'm not quick. Another pipe. <coughs> no, a breaker. <laughs> no, don't cough too much. That box will open. <coughs> Damn it! It's wandering around. Is it trying to keep us in? Well, what do I do? Uh, never mind, we have parasols for this. Let's see. Am I 
right on the shelves. Ah, it's really tight. It's really tight. Nothing. Nothing else looks useful. There's a little window up there. There's no way I can fit in there. There's a crack in the wall. Next to the shelves are this way, right? If I turn down the wall, I get out in there. The hammer. I might be able to wind the crack of the hammer. Let's try it. Can you get through? Stop coughing. It's like coughing up here at the stand. Damn it, it's wandering around. Is it trying to keep us in? What do I do? It's a seek or swim. Fine. Lots of books. 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 One. Lots of books. Lots of books. One. Next to the elevator. I'll walk slowly so you don't cough as often. Because apparently uh, his coughing depends on this. Uh, this should be the second floor's reference room. But the doors won't open. Item. 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 Crowbar. Right open the crowbar? Have to at least try. Game. <laughs> at least I think I figured it out. <laughs> Funny. Alright, then the monster comes. Let's do this. Alright, take this. Takes the iron pipe, but uh, let's move this out of the way. Walk slower so we can't do all that too often. Then we use the hammer. All right, without the way. All right, now lots of old books, lots of old books. I know there's lots of old books, but I'm just kind of checking them to make sure I don't miss anything. Lots of old books. I don't think I'm gonna miss anything. Let's go over here for a second. Gotta be careful. Now use the crowbar. Can I pry open with a crowbar? Have to at least try. Break this open. Alright. I'm in the elevator. I can go through the door in the ceiling. Okay, I can't move. Now I can. Ladder. Climb, climb, climb. And escape we will. to escape. Hey, D, are you okay? Are you okay? I'll get you to the infirmary. Hang in there. D, are you sure you're okay? You don't want to go to the hospital? What if you got poisoned? <laughs> I'm fine. Head hurts like hell and I feel gross, but I'll get better. Thanks, dude. I'd be screwed without you around. I owe you my life. There's a water storage in the basement, and once I heard about leaking gas, only just remembered that now. It was after I graduated, so I don't know for sure, but I think there was a dispute over the prosperity, so the school moved and this got abandoned. I see. But you really shouldn't have come if you knew it was dangerous. Sh shut up. I just gotta forget. I sort of forgot, okay? Man, to think all that happened when I just came here to relax. Should have just stayed at home studying. It's good not to get. It's good to get a breather, sure. Just not in abandoned ruins, okay? That's really something, though. You're still studying the three whole years after you graduated. Well, I always wanted to be a lawyer, ever since I was a kid. No matter what, I will be a lawyer. So, I kept studying, and I still do, and there's no changing my mind. I see. But, you're awesome yourself, climbing the elevator while carrying me? You're buffer than you look. Oh, well, I did go to flight school. Serious? That's awesome! 
really can't judge a book by its cover, eh? But anyway, when you get out of here, uh, won't you get out of here already? But it's all kinds of dangerous here, and I'm not looking after you anymore. I, I know, I know. Well, it was nostalgic and refreshing while it lasted. I'll just rest her a little and go. Which means obviously something bad has to happen with the crooked man. You'd be, uh, you do that. I'll be going. Hey, get out, gross man. Okay, <laughs> kind of funny. But you have a pixel sticking out of the blankets, but whatever. I'll ignore it. Oh, hey, hold on a sec. What's up, D? You dropped something. Here you. Wait, what? Huh? Uh-oh. He must have read the diary page. This looks like Professor Andrew's writing. Why'd you have this? Hey, 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 wait, wait! Don't read that! Huh? Dreamer, the grade he'll always get. Hey, what's this about? Uh, why did the professor... This is... how he really felt? But you supported me. You said I'd be a lawyer someday. That's what you told me! Hey, D, calm down. D! Ah, oh, that guy. He's in no condition, and that monster's bound to find him. I have to go after him.